My next guest says these protesters are capturing it now with their anti-rich message. David Callan is, is a senior fellow at the liberal think tank, Demos. Thank you for joining us. So you think these guys, these protesters downtown, they got it all right? There's a lot of anger out there. It's been three years since the financial crisis. We still have 9% unemployment. Because of that crisis, caused largely by Wall Street speculation, people are... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. People, uh, hold people, on, hold on. People the, are... The 9%, 9.1% unemployment may go up tomorrow. Uh, it is caused by Wall Street speculation? We had 4.5% uh, uh, unemployment before that crash. Who was before the president? The financial, who was the president then? Before that, George Bush. Before the... Thank you. Who... who who rolled back regulations on Wall Street, allowed Wall Street to turn it into a casino, allowed these bankers to take all these crazy risks Sir? and vets, reckless David, casino-like uh, behavior that when, caused the when crash. When do you think that this and it hasn't like been remedied, behavior it hasn't when, been when, remedied? When the bubble burst, who created the bubble? Well, Wall Street helped create that bubble by securitizing Specifically mortgages. Specifically, who created the bu bubble? Yeah, thank you. Okay, by, let's by go. By securitizing mortgages. Which mortgages? By bundling Which these mortgages? Sub bundling subprime mortgages together. Where did the subprime mortgages come from? Peddling it to... They Say it. Countrywide, which peddled this and stuff. And who told them Angel to put Angelo out these Brazil mortgages? There was a Community Reinvestment Act, and, and during that time, it was Chuck Schumer, it was Chris Dodd, it was Barney Frank who said... I don't care. Let's roll the dice. Let's make sure everyone that wants a home gets a home. That was the basis for, for the mortgage. And then they were bundled and they were they were bet on, granted. But really, the basis for this whole bet came under a, a Democrat Congress. Yeah, but don't forget how we got the financial crash, which is Wall Street made all these risky bets highly leveraged on those assets and when the house of cards fell apart the economy collapsed we're living with that legacy today three years later okay. still nine percent it's still bush's fault it's and still get, bush's fault and guess what because it's now three it's, years down the road mr obama has been on the podium several times in fact this week he said okay the economy is mine but you're still pointing the figure and and these protesters are still saying look it's greedy corporations and and republicans well the, the protesters are saying basically this economy is not working for ordinary americans and it's not you have record corporate profits you have the top 400 americans with more net worth than the bottom 50 percent americans you have 46 million people living in poverty what kind of economy is working if you have record corporate profits when 46 million people are living in poverty that's an what, economy what is, that's not working why, Capitalism are, you, why is great. are you blaming profit you're blaming profit for the the ills of the economy I, i'm not blaming profit eric i'm just saying that when you have record corporate profits when you have record amounts of wealth in the hands of the rich and you have uh, 15 percent of people living in poverty 25 percent right, let me ask you this five million, so what's 20, the answer 25 what's the answer the answer is a mixed economy. Capitalism is a great system, but it needs to be mixed with what? It needs Capitalism to be, mixed with what socialism? We, excuse me, what Marxism? We, no, what we've communism? Had, what we've had for the last 50 years, which is capitalism mixed with proper regulation. Those regulations does, prop, were, does proper regulation mean telling the banks how much profit is okay and anything above a certain amount is not? No, but what it does mean is the banks cannot make these crazy over leveraged bets too much leverage, too much risk based upon these assets that were a bunch of junk, toxic assets. That's what caused the financial crisis. And you know what? The system hasn't been fixed. Banks and Wall Street have spent $750 million in just the you know, past three years Mr. Obama trying, to today, roll, trying to stop that. The president Wall today reform. showed his hand. He was on that podium. He was making this job speech. And at one point, a reporter asked the right question. You, Mr. Mr. Obama, a while back, a couple days ago, you said banks shouldn't make more profit than they deserve. What did you mean by that? He clarified what he meant. He said the free market should price what the banks do. He was right about that. But then... He took it one step further and he said, and if it gets out of control or out of hand or, or, or at a certain point, policy should step in. Well, no. No, policy shouldn't step in. The free market should step in. If a bank charges too much for services, people will go to another bank. Well, the free market didn't work so well in the lead up to that financial crash. How Look, can you, how can you say that? The free market <laughs> has put America uh, is put America on top of every standard of living, every uh, household net worth, everything across the board. It's working. Well, right. A mixed economy has worked over the past 50 years. But what we've seen is those safeguards and regulations rolled back, which has let Wall Street turn into a casino. And the system has still All not, right. not been fixed. We're going to leave it there. David Callahan, appreciate your time but I still think you're wrong. Good to debate. All right.